Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria, and today I'd like to talk to you about protein, hydrolyzed collagen, hydrolyzed collagen with protein from Biotics Research Corporation. About four years ago, I got the perfect pitch from Biotics. They sent out a brochure that said, better than Botox. Don't you think that would kind of get your attention? I think the only marketing that's better than that is the St. Joseph Baby Aspirin. Pink bottle, St. Joseph, Baby Aspirin. I mean, what could go wrong? So when it comes down to the protein, I thought, you know what? What do I have to lose? I have never really been a fond promoter of liquid drinks. I know many of you out there right now, you make your smoothies with everything under the sun except the kitchen sink. Oh, Dr. Bob, I put kale in it, I put strawberries because strawberries are good and blueberries. And I even put Greek yogurt in my smoothie. And I'm not telling you not to do that, but I would suggest maybe start considering Biotics Research Corporation Hydrolyzed Collagen. They have chocolate and vanilla. It's really easy to use. About eight ounces of water, pure water, and then you add two scoops of either the protein chocolate or the protein vanilla. So what I have done is I've done the chocolate in the past, and I like the chocolate. I had then decided I'm gonna do one scoop of chocolate and one scoop of vanilla so it's not as chocolate -y. So here's what happened. So if you're to look at some of my pictures from the past, and I want you to know that I was born in 1954. So you can do the math on what my chronological age is. This protein stopped my hair from literally going away. So my hair is thicker, it's stronger, but what's interesting about the hydrolyzed collagen, and I'm not one to much complain about joint pain, but I had some difficulty in uh, my right big toe from an injury I had many years ago because my gait got altered while well, my right toe pain went away. I've had knee pain go away. I've had individuals tell me that their eyelashes started to grow, their eyebrows started to grow, digestive distress went away. My nails grow really fast right now and muscles are stronger. So, you know, the hydrolyzed collagen is easily absorbed. Now, a couple things that are really important. You're gonna to wanna to get a very powerful blender. You know, it could be a Vitamix, it can be a Ninja Bullet. I don't care what it is, but you don't want one of those traditional ones with the small blades in it, because what I do is I get the eight ounces of water, a scoop of each, or two scoops of chocolate, or two scoops of vanilla, and then I throw about four or five ice cubes in it. I blend it so it's really whippy, and I put it in a thermos cup. I happen to use a brand called Contigo Thermos Cup where I can flip the lid and I just sip on it all day. Now, some of you might want to use this as a meal replacement, and that's obviously your choice. I have found I'd rather not get necessarily bloated from consuming all of that protein at one time, so I sip on it during the day. The ice cubes kind of keep it cool, so it's not like lukewarm. I can tell you the very first time I did it, I put the scoops in a cup and I try to blend it, and that is not going to work. I'm just going to tell you right now. I know that some of you might want to put it in a hot beverage. You could do whatever you want, but I would suggest a blender. Now, the hydrolyzed collagen comes from Scandinavian cows, so it is bovine protein. There are a lot of people out there that are marketing a variety of proteins that might come from chicken, egg, the linings of the egg itself, maybe some kind of other source of protein that's not a complete protein necessary. So I was just looking at all the ingredients as arginine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glycine, hydroxyproline, I mean, there are a lot of amino acids in here that's gonna help hair, skin, nails, and joints. So if you thought about, hey, maybe I should try something, not saying all the wrinkles in your face are gonna go away, 
but I do know that it's a viable, easy way to get protein in your body. So just a couple other thoughts. You can do a blood test in our office. It's called an OptiChem or an OptiCardio Plus. And if you're watching me here anywhere in the world right now, look at your blood test. Look at your globulin. Globulin is a form of a protein that's impacted by digestive enzymes. Your globulin should be 2.7. So let's say that your blood test does not have globulin on it. So you could take total protein and subtract albumin. So you put total protein, put albumin below. That number, when you subtract it, should be 2.7. If it's above 3.0, you probably are eating too many carbs and you're not digesting properly. If that number is like 2.1 or in the ones, I can guarantee you're not absorbing properly. So Dr. Bob, why are you talking about this? Because globulin is a protein. It's a part of your immune system. Protein is for your immune system plus everything else. It's a basic building block for, of course, muscles and hair and bones and everything in between. There's another marker you can look at on your blood test called BUN, blood urea nitrogen. That number should be 15. If that number is low, it's a marker to us, Dr. Case and Dr. Anthony and myself, that you're probably either not absorbing protein or you're not consuming enough protein. Then of course, you can look at your blood test at the total protein. So this is the sneaky part about blood tests and with your body. Your body is wonderfully made. If your body does not have enough protein, it'll literally cannibalize your muscle to get protein. You say, what did you say? That means your body needs protein. So if you're not eating protein, your body's going to eat you to get the protein. So doesn't it make sense just to add a little bit of protein to your diet on a regular basis? Now, you might not want to do this every day. This has a 30 day supply or 30 times. You could do it three times a week. You could do it once a week, but I just want you to do it. Probably the biggest thing that people tell us that this does for them, it impacts hair quality. Only thing besides hair quality that I get the most coverage on is smelly feet. You say, what are you saying that for? Because hair quality is really, really important. And I know that you're going to, it'll make a huge difference if you decide to do this. So thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.